Hello and welcome to this Learner Central video with me, Joe Hammond. And I'm coming to you today from the northeast of England, and more specifically, the Angel of the North, just outside of the town of Gateshead. As electricians, we are governed by BS 7671 wiring regulations. This is a non-statutory piece of work, meaning we don't actually have to follow it. However, it is the standard. So although it's not law, it can be used against you in a court of law should something go wrong. So definitely one that we need to take seriously. The regulations by its very nature is a tad wordy. And if like me, you prefer a book with lots of pictures, then this one's not really for you. But as electricians, we do have to understand it or at least be able to navigate it. The regulations to me are set out just how I would conduct myself as an electrician. So when I arrive at a job to perhaps carry out some alterations for a customer, the first thing I think is, well, is the work within my scope? Can I do it? Is it within my skill set? And just like part one of the regulations, we have the scope. And this lays out the regulations and what it's concerned with. Domestic, commercial, even down to caravan parks. Object or objectives, well, that's setting out what we're looking to achieve. And then finally, our principles. This is what makes us the electricians we are, by ensuring the work that we do is safe to people, property and livestock. Part two lays out some of the terminology for us, like definitions. And if you have an abbreviation that you don't know, well, use part two to find out exactly what it is. Also, if you've got some terminology that you're just not quite sure of, part two is a great place to start. Now, part three for me is where the regulations really start. As, as I step out my van and I go inside the property, the first thing I check is the supply characteristics, any earthing arrangements, bonding, main fuses, etc. And all this is set out in part three. Now, once I'm happy with that supply characteristics and they're all OK, I then consider the work I'm going to do. And if I'm carrying out an alteration, then before I've even taken a look or taken a tool out of my bag, I check that the protection is there and how it's protected. And this is what part four covers. My alteration is protected by automatic disconnection as supplied, but there are others that we can use and we might also need to consider. And they're all in part four. So now that I'm happy that I'm going to be using ADS, I now need to know how I'm going to achieve that. For example, the materials or the way I'm going to install it. And this is all in part five, which will have those relevant points to ensure my installation complies with ADS, those protective measures. Now, once it's installed, I've got to test it. And that's all covered in part six. And if my alteration was being installed, for example, in a special location like a bathroom, swimming pool, and be sure to check out our other video on swimming pool locations, then I would use part seven for those special locations. Finally, part eight. Now, this is a new addition. It's quite small and it covers the prosumers. So things like battery storage, electric vehicle chargers and micro generations. Now, prosumer is a great word because, well, we all consume electricity, but we now have producers of electricity. So that's where the term prosumer comes from. Finally, we do have appendices. Now, these are there to support the regulations themselves. So, you know, where we can't fit all of the information into one regulation, then we have the appendices as well. So the regulations itself can seem a little bit wordy and very, very daunting. But my best advice if you're navigating is try and avoid the index, but go to the contents themselves. Each part has got its own contents page and it breaks down really easily where we might want to go. So if you're looking, for example, for basic insulation and the protection that we need for that, part four, and you can have a look there for basic insulation. So there we have it. A very quick guide to the general layout of the regulations. If you found this video interesting, then please be sure to check out the rest of our videos on efix.co.uk and follow all the links below in the comments box. But for now, bye-bye.